start us off here, right? Yeah. Uh, disappointed uh, Saturday, for sure, on a lot of fronts. Um, our hurt, our staff hurts for the old Miss family. I understand uh, when, when you love a place and you want to, to give it great joy uh, through the job you're assigned, it's, uh, it's difficult when you know you, that uh, it's disappointing. It's, it's testing times. We must show great resolve and, and leadership moving forward, shut out the negativity, and, uh, and you know, remain true to our core values. It's a great thing. Our, our theme this year is take a stand, and uh, this is a great uh, teaching moment for young men in life, uh, for our coaching staff, for everybody in this building to, uh, to rally together and, and continue to work extremely hard. We're facing uh, adversity in a lot of different ways. Whether it be injury or tough opponents, uh, disappointments, all of those things are part of life, and this is a great teaching time. We've got five great opportunities left. That's 300 minutes, and uh, yesterday's team meeting was centered upon uh, those and how those minutes should look and what we should do in prepping for those minutes and how we prepare and how we focus and controlling what we can control. And uh, I'm, I'm optimistic and confident that uh, our young men are going to play with great uh, passion for those last 300 minutes that we have and prepare daily for those. It starts with A&M. Very, very, very talented team. Uh, extremely good athletes on both sides of the football. And, uh, Kevin's done a really nice job there. And uh, their defense is playing at a much higher level. And, uh, they. They, they are uh, going to be a, a really good test for us. It's good that we have them at home. I know that our people will be excited to get a night game here, an SEC game here, and our kids will feel the support uh, of the great Rebel fans.